Leo, 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 hello, my Leo love. So, welcome to February. This is going to be your monthly terrascope. If you like, please like, share, subscribe. Don't keep me a secret. Leo, what we got going on? Normally, we have the fuckery come in with you guys. There's always somebody that comes in, somebody you got to watch out for. Let's see if y'all finally got rid of that mofo and you can move forward into something a little bit more productive for you. I know a lot of you not even tripping over this person because they've been around for so long. But let's see, because I'm nosy. Let's just see Leo's. Leo, I feel like there's going to be some changes that are going to be coming in as far as some things with your body. Now, this could be losing weight. This could be changing your hair color. Some of you may be doing a look that you haven't tried before. I get something with piercings and tattoos that are coming in. Some of you may be um, memorializing someone on your body. This could even be a familiar. So you may be going to a tattoo shop and saying, look, you know, my dog just died and um, I want to go ahead and get a tattoo or this may be something significant, but I feel like it has something to do with a connection that could be spiritual, could be with a familiar, um, or it could be something that signifies some growth or something that you went through. Definitely it means something to you. And anytime you put tattoos on, they should mean something to you. So let's see, Leo, Leo, Leo. I definitely see a lot of travel that's coming into your cards. Some of you are going to find yourself on the road a lot this year, um, not just this month, but I feel like a lot of travel that's coming in. This could be literally... If you work as a truck driver, if you work as an Uber or Lyft driver, or um, there's something that you're doing with transportation, there could even be distances where um, you get a job, but you have to travel out for this job. But I do see a lot of driving that's going to be coming in. Now, if you haven't had your car checked out, make sure that you have your car maintenance. You check out your, your tire pressure and your oil and things like that. Spirit is just saying, because you're going to be on the road so much, a lot of you need to stay on top of your car or your vehicle. And watch your speeding, too. I feel like there could be some issue with a ticket or something coming in. Um, it's because you're going way too fast. So that may be even a warning, too. It may not be something that's going to happen to the car as far as mechanical. It could be that you're going to either be pulled over or you may get some type. You know, where I live, they still do that that red camera bullshit where, you know, if you barely go through the light, <laughs> if you barely run it, clearly running a red light, but we barely going through the light kills me when they bring you, they send that picture and you're like, I didn't run the light and it's clear. The light was red. I just feel like, you know what? Sun was in my eyes or something. It never get me out of it, but it is what it is. So some of you be careful with your driving and your speed. Now, I definitely see signing some type of long-term contract that brings in some money. For a few of you, this could be with books. This could be entertainment. I feel like something that puts you out there. If you're a singer, if you are, you know, you have a craft or skill, you're a diviner, you could be on YouTube, you could be on Instagram, you could be on Facebook, but it literally is putting yourself out there. Make sure you read everything Leo before you sign anything. You want to make sure that you get everything you want because some of you, I feel like there's an energy of I want it, I want it, I want it, and it's fire energy and I'm going to make it happen. And then when you get into it, it's like, uh, I should have put more thought into it or I should have looked at it in a different, a different way. So before you sign or commit to anything, make sure that you're getting everything that you want out of it, Leo. I do get a lot of high priestess vibes, so you could be getting a lot of downloads, intuitive connections that are coming in. Some of you, if you're very gifted, you're going to see that your gift is opening up in different ways. Um, there may be some type of uh, elevation with your gifts or the way spirit connects with you. And I'm telling you, it's been crazy at my house. I had a spirit. I was talking to Jasmine the other day and the door closed and I thought she closed the door. And she was like, why did you close the door on me? And I was like, I didn't close the door. I thought you closed the door. Neither one of us were by the door. It just shut. No draft or anything. And then a bath bomb came flying at me in the bathtub. So some of you may get a, a, a stronger connection with spirit. You may be dealing with poltergeists. Um, poltergeists are sometimes um, repressed energy that manifests. So, um, but we have a ton of orbs around here. So I, I, I'm cleansing today because we got too many people that's camping out over here. I feel like this is um, getting to be the house. So a few of you may be having that energy in your space too, where you're having other spirits that are coming in or you're having things that are happening. Now, of course, not to scare anybody because it may not be happening to everyone and not every spirit that comes in is going to be a negative spirit. 
but you may be dealing with that energy. Cleanse your space, cleanse your body. Leo, Leo, Leo. Watch your money, Leo. There's a lot of things that are coming in to bring money in, but I see a lot of you are also spending a lot of money out, um, sending it out. This could be because you have your own business and you're doing inventory. You're trying to buy things up. Maybe some of you are just getting ready to get started. A few of you, I feel like this is like, I'm just trying to keep my business afloat. But be careful that you're not all over the place um, and not focused on what you really need in your business. Look at your demographics. What are they buying? What do they need? Um, don't spend your money on fluff fluffs if they're not buying fluff fluffs. You want to put your money in on something that is um, sellable in your place. So if you're an entrepreneur and you have more money going out because of inventory, don't do it. Spirit is like, you got to look at what's selling. Not, not everything is going to sell. If this is a job, spirit is literally like you could be getting some type of pay increase, but you need to watch your money or you need to budget. Now, I am getting some emotional pain coming in. For a few of you, this could be um, a falling out with someone, whether this is a friendship, family member, lover, or whatever. There may be some emotional um, residual emotions, especially if it just happened. If you just broke up with someone, some of you may still be trying to work through that, um, trying to get through that energy. If this is something that's been gone, been long going or ongoing, I feel like there's this thing of a disconnect, but there's still this little um, ugh that's there. I don't even know how to explain it. And I mean, sometimes with emotion, it takes a while for things to kind of fade out. If this is cheating, some of you may be finding out that your partner has someone on the side or vice versa, but I'm getting that there may be something with deception that makes a fallout happen. I can't trust you. You did something and now we can't be cool. Let's see. Leo, Leo, Leo. Definitely getting some worries and some stresses. It looks like either over a relationship or money, but I feel for a lot of you, it's money. If you've been trying to get a job, it looks like you have some opportunity that's coming in. I'm getting delays with it at first, but I feel like there's going to be signing some type of paperwork, signing some type of contract where you're committing yourself to something long term. So make sure, like I said, it's what you want. There definitely is some expansion coming in. There's a move. There's either a move to a business or there's going to be a move from an apartment to a house. Or if you're in a house, you could be getting your own apartment. But I do see real estate. So either you're flipping houses or you're actually going ahead and moving, but it looks like big changes that are coming in with a move. Leo, Leo, Leo. Let me get these cards right. So we got the Eight of Coins. We have the Knight of Blades. We have the Magician. Let me move this cup. Put it on the edge because I might drop it. There we go. We have the Magician. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you are really manifesting some positive changes in. We have the Queen of Wands. She always pops up for you guys. Being seen, being on stage. The High Priestess. And it, be, it could be because of your intuition or your spiritual connection. You may be navigating your life through spirit, ancestors, Seven of Cups. There's a lot of ideas or a lot of things that are going to be coming to you. Some of you may have too many ideas, too many things that are coming at you too quickly. The nine of coins, independent, self-employment, entrepreneurship, not wanting to depend on anybody. I pay my own bills. Some of you, um, you may be dealing with an energy. Of, if you are partnered, you may be having someone that is trying to stifle you or you feel like they're not allowing you to do what you want to do. And I don't know why, because Leo is going to do what they want to do. But it is showing that there is something where I don't want to have to depend on people. I don't want people giving me money. I don't want people telling me what to do with my money. So you're walking in that energy. We have Ace of Blades. Let's see. Knight of Wands. Something that, that may come to light really, really, really fast for you guys. Seven of Wands. Feeling the need to defend yourself or feeling like you're being put in a position that you have to defend yourself. We have nine of blades, stress worries, not being able to sleep at night. You could be dealing with an air sign um, with ace of blades, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, somebody that may be having a hard time emotionally. Either they're struggling with anxiety or worries or you are. The hermit card, pulling away, not putting a lot of energy into people, focusing on your business or your money with the six of coins. Three of Blades, that's that outside interference that I felt was coming up. 
and the chariot could be closing doors on something because it hurt you. Ace of Wands, new beginnings. Definitely walking away from someone or something. We have the eight of coins. This is mentorship. This is teaching. This is education to me. Learning a new skill. If you look that this person could be teaching this person how to do this. Opening money opportunities that are coming in really, really fast. Some of you may be taking classes. A few of you may be giving classes, but it's showing financially. There's some upswing that comes in with education for you guys this year. Now, I will feel, I will say that I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, some of you may find yourself traveling. You could be some type of consultant or someone that goes in and trains other people, or you could just work in various places. This could be a mobile business, like mobile massage, mobile nursing, or you may just be flexible where you can up and work at different places or different shops. Now, I will say that there is major opportunities that come in with the skill set that you have, things that you know. If you are someone who is an elder or a mentor and you're taking someone under you, it's sharing knowledge where you're making some type of money and you could be passing on. Spirit keeps telling me a legacy. Some of you may be feeling like I need to teach something to some people because I'm not going to always be here or I'm not going to always have it. So this may be an elder person who comes to you and this could be family, grandmother, grandfather, father, mother, um, or someone that you look at as an elder and they're sharing knowledge with you. If you are the elder, you could be sharing knowledge with people around you. Now, I do see next to this Knight of Blades. Some of you may be going back to school or learning something, but it may not be exactly what you want to focus on. Um, you could be changing careers or needing to change careers. Um, be careful of manipulation that you're not allowing people around you to manipulate you, whether you are a teacher or a student. Um, somebody, when you look at this card, they're doing something that, or someone is doing something that they don't really feel comfortable with. I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I, um, am up to this because look at the way she's looking like, why are you cutting my bangs? Why are you doing it? I'm not sure if I want, but she's not saying anything. Some of you could even be dealing with an air sign that feels like they're being manipulated. Um, or this could be a person that is feeling like, I'm doing things that I don't want to do. And I saw this with another sign. I can't think. I think it was Gemini or Aquarius. I think it was Gemini, though. So some of you could be dealing with someone that maybe you taught something to and they're going out there and they're doing their own thing now. And it's like, OK, wow, I didn't expect that. Or this could be someone feeling that, you know, um, I want to do things my way. I don't want to listen to what you're saying. I want to do things my way. So we do have some issues that are coming in. And on top of that is the magician. And this could be someone that is being a little bit tricky or shady. And it's because manipulation. I want to get something the way I want it. Now, the magician sometimes definitely is manifestation. And with the wheel of fortune, I feel like there's some changes that are going to be coming in. I feel like some of you are manifesting. I'm getting something with candle work, spell work, lamp work. So you could be using fire as a means to manifest. If it doesn't fit to you, don't even worry about it. Let's just move on from that part because I know some people get weird sometimes about spell work. But some of you definitely are doing some fire magic. Um, we're working with heating things up. For a few of you, you could be dealing with someone who's tricky because there's this energy of, I don't want to do it. I don't really want it. This person's like, look at my smile. Just do what I tell you to do or go along with the program. So whether this is a work situation or somebody trying to manipulate your your education or your skill set. This could be people trying to get something free from you. Um, you know, woe is me. You know, let me go ahead and, and you help me with this. And you're like, sure. And this person is taking advantage of you. Now, it's a general read, Leo. This could be you doing it. But I do feel that there's something with education where things are not going the way you want them to go. Maybe you had a plan for something. Maybe you had a curriculum and it's not working out the way you worked and you feel like people are switching things up on you. Now, the magician definitely, if you're dealing with an energy uh, manipulation and somebody being tricky, some of you, I feel like you're going to pull away from this energy. You see it for what it is. Like, I see you. I know what you're doing. You're not smart. You're not cute. I see what you're doing. And this shady person keeps showing up, Leo. So either some of you have a type or you have a, uh, you're, you're stuck in some routine where you keep calling in the same energy or either you just really haven't, you haven't gotten rid of this mofo yet. So I will say for a lot of you, I feel like it is coming to an end. I really do. Thank God. Because we got a clean slate at the final card, which means that you're starting something anew and it could be you're letting go of this energy. 
with the chariot card. I'm pulling away. I'm moving forward. Forward. You're in my rearview mirror. I'm not, I'm not even trying to deal with you. Especially if you deal with someone that's being very deceptive and you feel like you cannot trust them. Um, or you're dealing with somebody that always plays the victim or there's a lot of manipulation. Some of you may be losing money behind this person and that's why you're moving away. Let's see. We definitely have the high priestess and the high priestess is intuitive. I know things. I see things. I'm ahead of things. So a lot of you are dealing with an energy and there could be some spell work. There could be some magic that's going in on this because we got the magician on top of the high priestess, which means that somebody can be very intuitive, very spiritual. But I will say that there may be some magic that is going on that some of you need to watch your back with. I don't feel like a lot of the, the, the energy is going to even, um, I was like, well, what the hell? I don't feel like the energy is going to do you in, but I do feel that there is this thing of needing to keep your eyes open and watch your back with certain people that, that are in your circle, Leo. Um, there could be miscommunication with this, but the high priestess is like, I know things, I feel things. And if the magician was upside down, where is he? I would say, oh, I got the wrong person upside down. Let me, I'm so, let me get it right. I'm turned, turned around. I feel like you would have more issues with this person. But I feel for some of you that you may need to watch your back, especially if you practice or you deal with people who practice. Um, there's some things that maybe people are trying to put blocks in your way. I feel like somebody's just trying to put some type of block in your way. And they're, they're smiling in your face and they're being really friendly because they want you to believe that everything is cool, but it may not be cool. Your intuition is showing that you're picking up certain vibes with people. Trust your vibes that you get with people. You may need to look at things a little bit deeper. Now, we definitely have you using your intu intuition or discernment to navigate things. And normally with the Seven of Cups, there's a lot of opportunity that is around you. A lot of ideas. I could do this. I could do that. I can make money off of this. Some of you may be even using something with art. If you're not doing body art, you could be actually doing something on a canvas. I feel like creating jewelry. Some of you are going to be doing some things with clothes. It may be fashion design. Um, I feel like this is spiritually led with the high priestess, which means that you may be doing the action of it, but I feel like a lot of the ideas are literally being downloaded from spirit. So if all of a sudden you feel like I want to work on some jewelry with crystals and stones, it's going to be spirit led. If you're doing some type of paintings or spiritual art, it's spirit led. If you are designing clothes for ceremonies or just um, certain uh, things that have spirit connection to it, it's spirit led. Be prepared. Even spiritual tattoos. I get a lot of creativity and a lot of ideas that are going to be coming to you, Leo. And for a lot of you... You're going to be making money off of it. You're going to be starting some type of business or opening something up where you can bring in a profit. A few of you, this is having some type of side hustle that you grow. I feel definitely there's money that's coming in. If you work at a company or you have a nine to five, you're getting that paycheck. But a lot of you are gifted on the side where it's like, okay, I can do this, but I can also bring money in this way. So keep an open mind because it looks like your focus this year is independence. I don't want to have to depend on anybody. I don't really want to be partnered up with anyone. I don't really want to be held down or held back. Um, this is literally moving forward solo. So some of you may be feeling like, I want to work on my money, but I want to work on it by myself. Or I want to create something, but I don't want to bring a whole bunch of people in on it. It literally is showing that you're building empires. So whether you're male or female, there's this big push of, I'm making money and I'm doing something that gives me freedom. You know, maybe I don't want to be in a nine to five. So I'm working towards something that's going to take me out of that and give me my independence. It's showing that you want to shine. Some of you will. You're putting yourself in the spotlight where people can see you. And it could be because of something that you create. If you're at work and you work for a company, and you're working on projects and things like that. A lot of you are being seen for your skill set. You're being seen for what you bring to the table. If you are an entertainer or singer or dancer, actor or whatever, things are opening back up for you. You're getting some auditions. Um, there's going to be some growth that comes in that puts you in some type of spotlight where people know your name or they know of you. So if you've been kind of laying low and working on some projects, I feel like within the next three months, some of you are going to be coming out with something really, really big. And they're gonna, people are going to be like, well, whoa, whoa, we didn't see it coming. It's because you've been working on it. So a lot of you, I feel like there's a lot of growth that's coming in that 
puts you out there. If you've been shy or you're a shy Leo, be prepared that you have something that's going to be opening up for you that puts you in front of people. Some of you could be teaching in front of people. Now, we get something coming in that's fast that may make you feel like I have to defend myself. Maybe there's some stuff that's being said, some things that come out. This could be with your work. This could be in your relationships where it's like, wow, you know, I didn't expect this to come my way, but now I feel like I have to, you know, stand up for myself. I have to put myself uh, in a position of taking a stance. And I feel like a lot of you, this could be gossip. A few of you may be worried about what people are saying or how people are acting around you. I kind of feel a little bit of anxiety with things that may be going on around you. It could be drama that's coming in and you're not trying to be a part of it. I feel like something kind of comes to light and it comes to light really, really quick. And before you know it, you could be tossed into something. And it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I did not know. I get that there's deeper things that you may be uncovering about people that make you feel some kind of way because we have the three of swords right on top of this. Now, if you look at the x-ray, they, of course, can't see what's inside the dog um, on the table. So they're looking at the x-ray to go deeper. Like, what is this? Some of you may be finding yourself going through somebody's phone or their computer or digging a little deeper in the business papers. Um, this could be even checking people's messages or mail, but I feel like there may be some things that are red flagging you with people in your life and you're like, okay, wait a minute. Let me look deeper into that. They said something in the conversation and I kind of feel like mm, maybe I need to go a little bit deeper. Some of you, this could be on a job situation where you may be trying to figure out what's going on with your job or what's going on with someone at your job. For some, this could be a friendship or a family where they're acting funny and you're like, what's going on with them? So you're looking deeper because somebody's giving you cause to. Now, this could also be a lot of times with Three of Swords, I always think chest pains or heart pains or some type of sickness that comes in that may need surgery. So a few of you may be finding out if you go in for a routine check that maybe, oh, we got to go ahead and do some type of surgery or there may be something that needs to be taken out. I don't feel like it's negative. I do get worries if you feel like there's going to be some type of surgery or medical issue that you're dealing with. For some, I feel like it's lower body. So this could be knees, ankles, hips, or something like that. Some of you may be having some pains or having some some issue with your lower body. And when you look at the dog, I think it is lower body. It's either in his stomach or his hind legs. So some of you literally may be having some mobility issues where you have to get some type of treatment, whether this is surgery or some type of medication. But for some of you, I feel like there may be some type of hip replacement or new knee replacement that may be coming in. And there's some concern, there's some worries. But I get pills on the table, so someone could be in pain. They could be dealing with some type of issue where it's like they got to take pain medication um, and it may not be helping. And it may be why surgery is an option coming in. Will not apply to everyone, but if you are having issues, go to your doctor. Some of you definitely could be having some type of emotional pain over an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius because we have three of swords. Sometimes this could be feeling like stabbed in the heart. Um, there could be worries. And this could, if this is not you, this could be them. Somebody may be having an air sign around you, may be having some serious medical issues where they have to have surgery and they're worried about it. Um, there may be a pull away from this person because of the hermit. We're not talking. So I will say if you have someone that you haven't talked to in a while and you're concerned about their health, you might want to reach out to them and talk to them. For a few of you, though, know, if this is an emotional pain, it looks like you're shutting something down because I can't deal with it anymore. I don't want to deal with it anymore. You may still be concerned about the person. You may even hear things, gossip that makes you think, oh my God, I need to check on them or maybe I need to be there. But maybe this person hurt you too much or vice versa. This could be somebody who they feel like you hurt them and they hear things about you being sick, but they don't want to cross lines because it's like we had a fallout. The hermit card is showing a pull away. I need to let something go so I can focus on me. I feel like there's definitely a pool where if there's disappointment with a job or a relationship, some of you are like, you know what? I need to take some time back and self-reflect. I need to go ahead and get my blueprint going. What do I want to do? What am I going to do next? How am I going to move forward? And it's showing that you're taking this time because maybe you were drained or you were hurt. And it's like, I need to regroup before I move forward. So 
This could be going back to school. This could be researching things. But it literally is showing kind of disconnecting from the, the social aspect of life so that you can go inward, meditate, spend more time with your ancestors, with yourself, with your spirits. If this is not you, you could be an air sign that has decided to do this from you. I'm going to pull back. I'm not going to put energy into something because I need to heal or I need to work on something or I need to get better with something. Now, we do have six of coins coming in. This is an increase in money. If you've been worried about finance, especially some entrepreneurs that have been worried about money or pay raises, this could even be a promotion for some. I definitely feel like there's going to be some good news coming in with money. And the chariot card is showing it's coming in right on time, moving you forward. And Ace of Wands is new beginning. Something starts over. Some of you could be walking away from something, taking a loan out and starting your own business, or you could be getting promoted and going to a different branch or a different position, or you could come into some money, a loan or something. Someone could leave you some money, but it's starting new beginnings for you. When we look at that Ace of Wands, this is a clean slate. I can put anything on here that I want. I have some type of financial backing that's coming in that's making it easier for me to go ahead and do what I want to do, whether this is painting. She has a canvas, and I think that came up in with the Seven of Cups. Have an idea, spiritual painting, being creative, making money with your skill set. Some of you are very artistic and very gifted, and you're finally getting some type of backing that's coming in that gives you an uh, opportunity or allows you time to do what you want to do, possibly following a dream. I do feel like some type of promotion or something that's coming in. For a few of you, I'm getting something with inheritance where someone could be leaving you something. Um, a few of you are walking away from the, the routine, the humdrum of life, because we see these people in the background and they're walking with their briefcases and their heads are down and they're, like, they're not happy. They want to be a little bit more carefree. They want some forward movement, not the same old, same old. Some of you are going to be shaking some things up. The stuff that I did in 2020, I don't really want to do it. You know, maybe you're coming out of some depression or some some issue, situation with anxiety. Some of you are cutting away a really negative or painful situation and starting something over. Whether this is you cutting away from a person or a person cutting away from you, there's new beginnings that are coming in, Leo. And I will say, I think it's not a bad thing for you. She has on a fur coat and some stuff that's coming in. You know, you could definitely be dealing with Taurus Capricorn energy of someone helping you out, or going into business with this person. But I feel for a lot of you, this is your energy. Struggling through something, growing a business, growing a project, coming to a place where it's like I'm finally getting some money that's coming in. For some of you, Spirit is saying even unemployment. So if you've been let go or furloughed, it looks like if you've been waiting for a check or something to come through, it is coming through. New beginnings coming in and a chariot energy is showing movement forward. No more stagnation. Nothing holding you back. This is something where it's like, I want to do something different and I have the energy to do it. The road is open. The energy is coming in for forward movement. Not going backwards. Nobody's looking back. Everybody's moving forward. So Leo, I will say if there's something that ends... Especially if you've been dealing with an energy that has been very oppressive or stagnant, not helping you move forward. There's something that is ending because it needs to so that you can come in and take this new beginning. And you get to create what you want. And that's what I love about this card. Well, it's so simple, but when you look at it, this literally is somebody who is starting something over. There's good energy. This could be a new job. This could be a new relationship. This could be news about a house. This could be, you know, getting some type of backing for a project or something that you want, but the slate is clean. You control it. It's in the fire energy. You control what you want to put on this. And for some of you, this may happen later in life. You may feel some kind of way about, you know, I'm 40, I'm 50, I'm 60, and I'm starting my life over. But I feel the excitement when you look at her. I don't know if you can see it in her eyes. But she literally is looking like, I'm, I'm ready for this. I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of this because this is a new beginning that maybe she's been waiting for. And the sun is right behind it, which would be your card. It would represent you. So I do see that there's some things that are coming in that show you some endings with painful things, um, you know, disappointment, being stabbed in the back, 
trust issues with people to moving away from that energy where you're starting to feel a little bit more comfortable and you're starting to feel like things are opening up and you're starting to feel like you can be yourself. You're letting your creativity come in, whatever that funk that was over you where you couldn't even see it. You're like, now I know I can do things. I can create. I almost want to do jazz hands with this jazz hands. Like I'm just like, there's something new that comes in and it brings in a really good energy, Leos. And I think it's about time, especially if it's ending a, a very toxic relation or a very toxic connection. They don't come with you on your new slate. You're standing there yourself and you're putting what you want on it. So I will say at this point, go into 2021 thinking I'm living for me. Even if you're in a partnership, I'm doing some things that help me grow. I'm doing some things that help me expand because I am the creator. I am putting whatever I want on my canvas. All right. So do wisely, Leo. Don't just throw anything up there. Put some thought into it. That's why you're going into hermit mode. So you can think about what you want and bring it to life. All right, you guys. Love you.